There are a lot of Android smartphone owners reporting issues both sending and receiving SMS messages. Now I initially saw this over in the Android subreddit where the user assumed the issue was LG related because it was happening with their LG smartphone. This is the screenshot of their support request where they were told this is an ongoing network issue. However, it seems there is a workaround that I want to show you how to do because we're seeing this as not a LG isolated issue, but it's happening to many, many Android devices from LG to Samsung to Google and many more. Now, there's not a actual fix for this issue, but there is a temporary workaround until Google gets around to resolving the problem because it seems to be an issue with the Google Carrier Services application. You can see that we've had a number of people send in this tip saying that a lot of people who are experiencing this have noticed that a recent update to Google's Carrier Services application was installed. So whenever they went to uninstall those updates, they noticed that the issue was no longer present. However, from reporting over at XDA, we can see that if you do uninstall the Google Ser Carrier Services updates, then your device could lose some of the features and services that come with that. So while the SMS, basic SMS features will likely be fixed from doing this, you're gonna lose some of those more advanced features that come along with the later updates, at least until Google rolls out an update that fixes it. Again, as XDA reports, they have pushed out an update and I will give you a link so that you can manually download and install this from APK Mirror. You can find that link in the video description or just in the XDA article. So to fix this issue, the easiest way, the quickest way that I found is to just go into the Google Play Store, do a search for carrier services, and then we can tap into that app. Once we have located and gone into the app page for Google's carrier services, you should see a big uninstall button. And this isn't going to uninstall the app itself. You can see it's going to uninstall the application updates that have been installed since this device was preloaded with that app. So we just tip, tap on uninstall, and then you're gonna see this update button right there. Now, if you have your Play Store set to automatically install app updates, then you need to watch out for this automatic app update. We can tap this three dot menu up here and disable automatic app updates, and then just manually wait a day or a week or two whenever Google gets around to fixing that. Again, we don't know if the latest app update that was mentioned on XDA fixes this bug yet. We haven't had enough people test it. But I imagine Google is going to be pushing out an update very soon. Now another way you might you may be able to uninstall this is by going in the settings, finding the apps section, and then going through and finding the Google Carrier Services app this way. You may need to show system apps. But I found, again, I found the easiest way is to just do it through the Play Store so that you have that big uninstall button.